Welcome to the Quick and Dirty Show with Nat and Marks. He's, he's back. He's not been back in a moment, but here he is back. I'm so glad to have you beside me. Have I been gone that long? Yes, oh. you've been gone a long time. Okay, Quick and Dirty Show. This is the place to be. If you are looking for weight loss strategies and we share the how, the what, the when to eat. And today we are talking about the what. It's lunches. getting lunches. We are coming into the home stretch now of summer, the end of summer. School starts for us back in just this many weeks. Yeah. And so we so we want to take a take a minute and just share with you what we do for lunches. So we have five lunches, all just ideas for that we want to share with you that will take you through obviously a whole week. So if you add it to you, what you're already doing for lunches, or if you're just, you know, if you're like us and we're excited to get back into the back to school routine, but lunches, maybe not so much. Um, it's, it'll just give you some fresh ideas. So when we do lunches, you're typically the one who does like the main, like the main lunch. And I usually do snacks with the help from the girls. Uh, but of course the girls have their favorites. So we're gonna we're gonna go through. We're gonna talk about some favorites. So, go. Well, so some some just quick and easy ways to, uh, you know, at night after supper, we're we're doing dishes and we're just getting stuff geared up for for lunches. What can you do that's quick that you can get most of it yeah. prepped at night and finish it off in the morning before you kick your kids uh, out the door? Um, so one of the things that's super easy is I use a. Thermos, as Fiona calls it, and um, get it cold, stick it in the fridge if you want overnight, and uh, tuna, gunk up some tuna. In our household, it's just a little dab of mayo. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of uh, chili pepper um, and um, a squirt of lime. Sometimes it's even a little bit of the homemade dressing that we use, even like a, a lemon uh, vinaigrette, is super easy. And so gunk that all up, fire that in the uh, fridge, and then the next morning, um, put it in the thermos, and uh, we always serve it with um, just a handful of nachos. So it gets you, it's good, wholesome, uh, clean protein with some uh, with some decent carb. And when you when you do gunk it up, as you say, yes. there's usually red peppers. Yellow peppers, yeah. cucumbers, yeah. like it's yeah. not just, yeah. sometimes it's straight yeah. up tuna. Sometimes it is. Pro tip. But, yeah. Pro tip. Uh, often at night when we're doing supper and I'm prepping a salad, I'll do up a bunch of extra veg knowing that if I'm going to go up some uh, tuna, I'll kick that to the to the side and then that just kind of goes in with the, with the tuna. So yeah. it just makes it just so much easier. Yes. And one thing too, our kids do not like tons of mayo because yeah, when it sits overnight or when it sits during the day before lunch, yeah. it just kind of like drains out yeah. and then it gets all soupy in the bottom. Yeah. That's no good. No. So just, that's why you said just a dab of mayo. Just a dab. Excellent. That's number one, tuna with nachos. Beautiful, so easy, kids love it. Yeah. Go, number two. Uh, what's another one? Rice and beans. We do rice and beans a lot. That's our, like your complete protein. So we always use, uh, or most often we'll use uh, brown rice. So if I'm doing a stir fry one night, um, the next, uh, the next morning I'll, I'll get up a scoop of, um, uh, rice and, uh, open up a can of, uh, black beans is what we use. But often if we've got chickpeas, chickpeas or kidney even beans. kidney beans, yeah. yeah. So fire some of that stuff in. Um, again, I use the same kind of creation. I do, um, lemon or lime uh, or lime zest and a little bit of olive oil and uh, some crushed chili pepper and then that's it like it's just don't some salt and pepper yes and, um, and again in the thermos kids the kids love lunches yeah. in a thermos and it's usually usually served cold for lunches mm -hmm. which is fine mm -hmm. our kids will eat it cold rice and beans yeah. lovely sometimes yeah. we use remember we used to have rice and beans all the time yeah. For supper. Yeah. Kids, we don't do it kids so kids much anymore, but yeah, rice yeah. and beans, so good. Okay, number three. Uh, cucumber sandwich. Oh, my staple from grade three. Um, Not ten, bologna? Ten years ago. Uh, no. 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 Um, no. I don't think I ate bologna. Bologna. <laughs> no, yes, I he did. did. But um, so um, a lot of times what I'll do is just, just kind of prep up some veg, mm -hmm. prep up some uh, protein, whether it's going to be like... Um, you know, 
deli slices if that's what you eat or um, even chicken. Ch yeah, yes. grilled, grilled chicken, slice it all up, put that in a little portion, uh, julienne up or, or you know, uh, cut up some uh, veg, fire that in, in a container, two slices of bread and, um, and the kids will make their own sandwich by the time that you get to uh, school. And that way it's not all kind of gross and soggy. And the kids are helping they're making their own. They feel they feel like they're making their own lunch, so they're more apt to eat it when they're helping and making their own stuff. They're okay. way more apt to eat it, than, and and also when it's not soggy. So th make your own sandwich. You got it. Yeah, love it. And even a wrap, like wrap up the yeah. tortilla in like a paper towel. Can do. And send it send it off. It's, it's perfect. Yeah. Okay, that's three. On to four. Four pasta. Pasta is so easy, hearty, uh, healthy for us. What we do, um, again, if we're having pasta for supper, um, I'll put some off to the side so it's just plain pasta, dried, cooled, and I'll um, I'll put it in the thermos at night, uh, put, put my portion of pasta in there, and then in the morning, what I'll do is I'll have a pot and I'll warm up the sauce, and then I pull out my thermos full of pasta and I just fill it to the brim with boiling water from the kettle that I'm waiting on for coffee and tea. Um, and that just reheats everything. And then I found this at the dollar store and it just so happens that it fits super conveniently. <laughs> so boiling pot, boiling water on the, on the pasta and I can just drain it like that and then fire my sauce and my cheese and put a lid on it and kick the kids out the door. Absolutely. Done. So and that's, by the time they eat it at lunchtime, well, it's still, it's still yeah, warm. Still, still hot. It's still warm. And I you think, you think do even, that often with your pasta. Like what do you yeah, yeah. reconstitute it or whatever you call it? Or maybe that's just warming it up. Warm it up. Yeah. 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 Just warm it up. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. So that's four. So now we're, so now we're hitting Friday. So now it's Friday. Now it's Friday. And we often eat. And we're uh, done making lunches with Friday. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and any day through the week, yes. um, kids will often be sent with leftovers. So often we'll do like a, a stir fry, or um, we'll do some some sort of like a like a pad thai maybe. And in that um, is the recipe that we use for the uh, grilled tofu, or baked tofu. And uh, so for lunch, super easy. Mm -hmm. um, just put my pad thai, or if it's a stir fry, the vegetables in that, top it off with the tofu. Yep. And away you go. And even, it, do you know what? Sometimes we've even sent them with just the just the baked tofu and some veggie sticks mm -hmm. and uh, maybe rice. some hummus to dip it yes. in and, and some rice and away yes. you go. So the less saucy stuff that we put in it, the higher the success rate is that the kids will eat it. Yes. Makes sense. Yeah. On the same line. I know. Yeah. And... The great thing is that all of these recipes, the stir fry, the tofu, maybe not so much the rice and beans, um, but the the dressing that you use for to put to put in your tuna, those are all in our cookbook that you can get. I'll link to it down below, but that's all in our cookbook. What else? It's five oh, days a week. you know what? That is five days a week. Let's talk snacks super quick though. Oh sure. Because. We often, we don't like to send a bunch of processed kind of packaged granola bars and different things. Sure, we do. Um, but just yesterday, because again, we're going back to school in, a, in two weeks, we got Juliet to make, to make a huge batch of muffins. So double batch, mm. it made 24, and we stuck them all in the freezer. And so we always got something like that. Muffins, whether it's corn muffins, whether it's the banana yep. chocolate chip, oatmeal or whatever those are, those muffins are called it's so nice to have a stockpile right so nice it's you know it's thursday night we're just trying to get get through the week and all of a sudden well we don't have any crackers or yeah. nacho chips or whatever yeah. to it's nice to reach into the fridge yes. and just go yes so muffin. always have something in the freezer that you can just that you can just pull on and the last thing i want to say is that this isn't just for kids these are this these aren't just ideas just for back to school lunches this is also what we eat and what Marks will take for, for lunch. Uh, so it's not just for kids, it is for adults too. Tasty, tasty lunches. Yeah. Yeah. Cool? 
That's it. All right, that's five it. Days. There you go. Five days of quick lunches. I hope that helps you be like start start September off on a really high note with your lunches because I know it's a long haul from September to June making lunches Cheers. every single day. So thank you for, thank you so much for watching our back to school edition of the Quick and Dirty Show. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.